Right, so we're going to move on to the next bend, which is sometimes called the crank set. We can see the shape of the bend that we want to form. Sometimes called the crank set by more traditional old, older school plumbers, uh, or even the roll set. But what we tend to call it nowadays is the pass over. So this bend will be used if we've got objects in the way of the root of our pipe, okay? So, we might have um, a 15 mil pipe, and we want to get a 15 mil pipe past it, okay? So we're gonna come round in front, and then carry on again. Waste pipes in bathrooms, okay? We might have a horizontal waste pipe, from, from the basin or wherever it's coming from, and we want to drop the copper down, come over the waste pipe, and then continue on down. So it's a very useful bend, but it is probably the trickiest of, of the bends that, we, that we've done so far, because we've actually got three bends as a part of it, okay? And the more bends we put on one piece of pipe, the more tricky it gets. So the first thing that we need to decide is how big does our Passover need to be? Quite simple, you're going to measure the obstacle. You're going to measure how far, it pass, uh, how far it's sticking off of the wall. And we're going to add a little bit on for clearance because we don't want our pipes touching. So typically what we would do, if we're passing over an object with a 15 mil pipe, we will add on an extra 15 mil for clearance. If we were passing over a 22, with a 22 mil pipe, we would add about 22. But I would say anywhere between, as long as you achieve as your final result, anywhere between 10 and 20 mil, then that's a good clearance, isn't it? Okay. Now we're going to imagine we're passing over a 15 millimeter pipe. So our object or our obstacle is 15 millimeters and we want a 15 millimeter clearance because we're going over with a 15 millimeter pipe. So 15 plus 15, 30 millimeters. So we are going to pull a 30 millimeter pass over, okay? So again, when you're starting out, you haven't got your plumber's eye, we don't leave anything to chance, we can work out exactly the perfect angle of this bend. Now the first bend that we're gonna pull is the front nose if you like it's the very front of the bend you might call it the nose now it's quite an angle to come out and back in again isn't it so like we did with the passover uh, with the double set we're going to run out the tape measure but this time we're not just going to use the size of the passover or the size of the offset as the reference, because it wouldn't give us the angle we need. We've really got to come out and then come back in again, haven't we? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna times the obstacle by three. So we are doing a 30 millimeter pass over. 30 times three is 90. So I'm gonna go from 90 millimeters on the tape to 610 because remember that is the length of the folding rule. So 90 millimetres, which is 30 times three, to 610, which is the length of the folding rule. There is the perfect angle for that front bend. Okay, so that's what we're gonna start with. So we're gonna, for practice, we're just gonna put our um, pass over right in the middle of the pipe, okay? So I'm going to pop that into the bender. Already now we have a little bit of experience about where that pipe's going to bend. So it's around about the 15, isn't it? Okay, and we'll, we'll, we'll move on to accurately getting that into position uh, in, in a few moments. But I can pop this into the bender and I'm just going to put that bend into that pipe. I'm just gonna replicate that shape. Bend to bend. 
edges of the pipe and the edges of the rule lined up. So I've just replicated, the angle of the bend is irrelevant, we've replicated the shape, okay? So that is our first bend in. That is the front nose of the bend. So we're gonna put another two bends now either side, and we're gonna form the shape of the passover, okay? So, we're gonna pop that down onto the bench. I will flip it around and demonstrate to both sides of you. So we're gonna pop that down, and we need to measure from the inside, there's my pen, gonna measure from the inside of the bend down to our obstacle, so quite, Straightforward, get yourself a, a straight edge, whether it's your folding wall or your level, whatever you've got, and simply lay it across. Now, we are going to measure down 30 millimetres because we're doing a 30 millimetre pass over. So, from the inside of that nose, I'm going to get that steel wall 30 millimetres down. Now, I've got 30 in the middle, but that doesn't mean it's nice and straight, does it? It could be wonky like that. It could be wonky like that. I still could have 30 in the middle, but it's not straight. So if you've got a good eye, you can do it by eye, or we can just measure in a couple of reference points. So I've got 30 there in the middle. I could come down here to the center, and I've got about 80 there to the center, and I've got, yeah, about 80 there. I could also, where the pipe changes shape, where it starts to stretch, I could even measure straight down. I've got 23, 22, and the same there. So I've not only got my measurement in the middle, I've got two equal measurements. It doesn't matter what the measurements are on the side, as long as they are the same. And that means that we've got that pretty much square. So, with your pen or your pencil, hold your steel rule and just go straight across that steel rule. Now we are definitely gonna need for this bend, marks on the other side of the pipe, okay? Nice and simple. Pick it up, pop it on the edge of a step or the edge of a bench. I like to use the edges here because they're nice and sharp, okay? So all I'm gonna do is line up the, the marks with the edge that we've got it on. And then all I've got to do is just run the pen underneath and I've replicated, just might need to just beef that up a little bit, I've replicated those lines on both sides. Okay, great. X marks the spot, top dead centre. So again, you can do it with your straight edge, but we want a line running top dead centre. X marks the spot. And this is gonna help us line up this piece of pipe in that bender. Same principle as our double set. We need to visualize what we're gonna be pulling. Because we have marked both sides, we could quite easily put this bender in, uh, pipe in the bender in the wrong place. So we need to visualize the shape that we wanna pull. Doesn't matter which side you start with, Okay, but what we will have is our first bend always up at the stop end, as we do with all of the other bends. So I'm going to put the back guide in, and I'm going to take that slide up. Now I can see an X, and I'm now going to visualise. If I pull those together, will I start to form that shape that I'm after? And the answer is yes. If I had it over like that, I would visualize me pulling a U-shape, and I don't want the U-shape, do I? Okay, so visualize the bend that you want, and just the same as the offset, all I'm gonna do 
is get the middle of that X right on the edge of the former, okay? There's our X marks the spot. So that's in the right place. I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna make sure that it's square. Put your straight edge on the edge of the former and I can see that is a long way off. Okay, it's gone wonky. No problem. I'm just give that a gentle tap straight and we we have a nice straight bend now okay so that's a nice reference there so I'm going to put this first bend in now it's really important that you stop short okay it is simple easy to over bend this so do deliberately stop short. Theoretically, we are lining that pipe up with that straight mark on the other side. Okay, but if you do that, you will overbend it. So deliberately stop short, put your mark on the end of the former on the pipe because it's going to go back in. Okay, I'm going to take that out and I'm going to flip it, and we're now going to do. The other side in exactly the same manner. I put it in, I've got my X smack bang on the edge of the former in the same way. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to make sure that the other bend in the pipe is straight to the former. That's somewhere about right. Okay, and I'm going to actually start to form the full shape. Again, stop short. Deliberately stop short. Pop a mark on the edge of the former because it's going to go back in. All right. Now, what we can do now is take it out and we can pop it on the edge of the bench. Now I'm gonna just stick that over there for you guys so you can see. Put your two bends on the edge of the bench and can you see how that the pipe is not lining up with the edge of the bench? Okay, I stopped short deliberately. I know exactly now how much I need to add on to that until I get those pipes running straight with the edge of the bench. Brilliant, okay. If we've put too much on, then that's it. That's the bend knackered. So, I'm just gonna put a touch more on both. I've got my mark, so I know exactly where that is going back in. Oh, the wrong way around. There we go, there's our mark. I'm gonna give that one a tweak. Flip it over, and I'm going to give that one a tweak, and I'm just going to offer that on the edge of the bench again. That one's good. In fact, that's about right. If anything, tiny, tiny tweak both sides. Now, when you've got a nice long piece of pipe, there's obviously a lot of spring in it, isn't there? So tiny tiny amounts won't matter so much when you've got a long piece of pipe because it will spring into shape but I reckon we're about there now yeah good so if we now look at that on the edge of that bench now can you see how those pipes are lining up with the edge of the bench good so I can look down it oh that's not a bad job Okay, what we don't want is it coming off that way and coming off that way. That's about straight. You can get little gentle tweaks, but there we go, that's about straight. So, have we got the clearance that we want? There we go, lovely. So that's now how it would form if we were on the wall, coming around nicely, whatever way we were doing. So we've got a decent bit of clearance, not too big, not too small, 
and you can even, if you really, really want to, if you're working very accurately, is just check from the edge of your bench to the inside, and there we go, we've got 30 millimeters, okay? Any questions? Okay, um, I'll be wandering around like an eagle, so if you need me to, you know, help you, just stop me and I will assist.